Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you my process for taking notes on blog posts and articles while reading online. So most of us spend the majority of our days glued to the computer, reading articles, and consuming so much other information. And if you're not actively taking notes on the best content that you're consuming, namely blog posts and articles, then you're not capturing and saving the best ideas that you're learning. And so that is gonna end with this video. And this video is gonna be one of the 28 lessons in my brand new course, Zettelkasten in Rome. In this course, I show you my systematic note-taking process to capture the best ideas I find from everything I'm consuming, like books, articles, podcasts, and so much more. And because of that, I'm building my creativity inbox over time, and then I'm able to use my Zettelcast to create new original content for articles, courses, or videos like this one. So the course is divided into four core modules. Part one is about capture, where I go over how to create notes to save the best ideas from the content you're already consuming. Then part two is all about how to organize your notes for better discoverability in the future. Part three is called refine, and we go over how to make your notes more valuable. And then finally, part four is create, where I show you how to use your Zettelcast to create new original pieces of content. And I've also included lessons in an intro section on how to use Rome more efficiently and the one hour masterclass as a bonus that will get you up from a complete beginner to an expert in Rome quickly. So that's basically two courses for the price of one. So yeah, you can get access to the entire course catalog, all 28 lessons. There's a link in the description. So go check it out if you want. And if not, here's how to take notes while reading online. All right, let's start by talking about how to take smart notes from articles that you are reading online. All right, let's start by opening an article on my website at densylvester.com. We have an article here about batching. So let's say that I'm reading this article and I really like it. And now I want to take some smart notes and save it into my Zettelkasten because I might need it in the future to create something new. So let's first talk about how to do this manually. Right, so I start by copying the title here. I just do Command C. And then I go into my daily notes and then I'm going to create a new page for this article. And I just copy the title of the article. And then I have a new page. Actually, I'm just gonna split this into two screens so it's a little bit easier. Let's hide the sidebar here. And now there are two ways that you can do this manually. The first is you can copy the entire article and then you can copy that to Rome. And then once in Rome, you can edit those notes. So you see here, obviously you copied everything else, but basically here is the entire article. The second way that you can do this is only copy the things that you like the most about this article, only the highlights that resonate with you the most and copy those into Rome. So let's delete everything that we copied first. All right, so we're reading the article and for example, here's the benefits, batching tasks saves times and prevent distractions. So probably copy that. And because this is written in Markdown and Rome also uses Markdown, you notice there's two asterisks, they are bolding those words. So then you continue to read the article and copy what's most relevant to you, what speaks the most to you. So for example, what is batching? So this is the definition. Batching is grouping specific tasks that are similar and doing them together. The idea is to focus on the tasks left often and for longer. We could just go here and say batching and then copy the definition. And you do this for all the articles that you read that resonate with you and that you find interesting, helpful, innovative, and you think are gonna help you later in your work. If I had to choose, I would prefer only to copy the highlights that resonated with me the most into Rome, because then you get that first layer of choosing what resonates the most. But obviously this is a little bit tedious to do for all the articles that you read. But the good news is we can automate this process by using an app called Instapaper. All right, so Instapaper is an app that brands itself of save anything, read anywhere. And the idea here is that you can take any article that you're reading online, take your smart notes inside Instapaper, and then send those and only those to your Zettelkasten in Rome. Now, Instapaper is free to use, but the free version only allows for five web highlights, which is the feature that we're gonna use the most. So if you want to upgrade, it's only $2.99 per month. I'll leave a link in the description or $29.99 per year. Now I pay for this service just because it makes everything so much easier easier, but you don't have to just know that you'd be limited to five web highlights. So this is the back end of my Instapaper. Let me just give you a quick rundown of what is happening here. So home is basically the inbox where all the articles arrive. Liked are all the articles that I like. I don't use this feature that much. The archive is where all the articles that I already took notes and they already live in my Zettelkasten. They go here because once I'm done reading an article and taking the notes, sending the notes to my Rome Zettelkasten, I'm able to archive those articles. Now, the idea here is that they are not on the inbox anymore, but also I'm not able to lose them if I need to come back to these articles in the future for some reason. For example, we have here Scaling Down, which is an article by Nas Labs. So if I go here into scaling down, I can see that these highlights were synced on February the 24th 
And this is all the notes that I took or all the highlights that I exported from the article from Nest Labs, which is this one. So if I open this, what you'll see is what I've highlighted here, reading about successful entrepreneurs is basically what you see here in the beginning. So this will be the title and this will be the first highlight. And you'll see that I took a lot of notes because I really like this article, but I didn't think the introduction was of much help and a couple of sentence here and there. So I didn't highlight those. So that is the archive. Then we have the videos and we have the notes, which is basically all the notes that you took. And then we have browse, which is basically to find new articles. Again, I don't use this very much. So let's go into home. The first thing that I want to do is try to send my article batching, the one that is on my website into my inbox, which is called home on Instapaper. To do that, I can use the Instapaper Chrome add-on. So if you go into the Chrome Web Store, you'll see this extension by Instapaper. All you have to do is add and then log in with your credentials. And what that allows me to do is go into this article, click this link, and you'll see at the top will appear save to Instapaper. So now if I go into Instapaper and I click home again, the new article will pop up. Oh, batching, how to improve your focus and get more done. So now let's open this article. Now I'm actively trying to see what parts resonate with me the most and I wanna highlight them. To highlight in Instapaper, all you have to do is just select a part of the text, for example, this, and click that pencil, which will highlight that sentence. And what I like to do is just clicking that and then using the keyboard to select the end of the sentence. So let's say from all this article, I just want to save those two highlights, those two notes, and I want to export them into Rome. For that, we need to connect a second tool, Readwise. All right, so you know about Readwise already, but the idea here is you can go into import, and then you'll see that Instapaper will show up for you because this is the first time you're doing it, will be under connect and sync. I already synced it, so it's in connected. And if I click Instapaper, it will start syncing from Instapaper, namely syncing the latest highlights that I did, which were the ones on the batching article. So you'll see here that batching, how to improve your focus and get more done, has two highlights, which are syncing from Instapaper. So if I go back to Rome, let's now search for batching. The article won't appear here because even though Readwise is reading the web highlights from Instapaper, it hasn't sent them to Rome. And so why is that? Readwise every day sends new information, all the highlights, everything that you have connected into Rome, but it does this at the predefined set time. So I'm going to do connect and sync and export just to show you what that looks like. But normally this process is automatic. So all I have to do is go connect and sync, and then export. There's one connection, which is Rome. I click it and then start exporting. Now it's pushing all my new web highlights from Instapaper into Rome. It's the end of the system. Again, Readwise does this automatically every day. This is the manual process. If you want to have your notes right now, this is what you should do. All right, so success, export it to new highlights, to one note. Let's go on the daily note. And now let's try to search for batching. And you'll see here batching, how to improve your focus and get more done. And you'll, what you'll see here is that the two things that I highlighted in Instapaper, let's just put it side by side so you can see that. So that is the first sentence. That one is the second sentence. And that got pushed into my Zettelkasten in Rome. And now I'm able to take these notes and organize them in any way that I want refine and then use them to create something new. There's one more thing that I want to mention here about Instapaper, and that is to use it as an inbox. So before, when I found an interesting article that I was reading online, my default process was to save that into the bookmarks. And that is basically how most people do it. They'll just click the star there or command D and then save it into the bookmarks. But the vibe here is that you can actually use Instapaper as an inbox for all the articles that you want to save and maybe read later and take some notes instead of putting them in your bookmarks. So for example, example, if I go back to my Instapaper main page, now that I've finished process this note, I can archive. And if I go into the archive, you'll see that the first article is the one that I just archived. And then all these articles that you see here are articles that I saved previously, but I haven't gotten around to processing them and to taking smart notes from it. Now, why would I save things if I'm not going to process them? There are a few reasons. One of them is because maybe this is not relevant right now, but it might be in the future. So there's a little bit of FOMO on my part by saving them all together, or I simply haven't find the time to process these notes. But the great thing about Instapaper and using this as an inbox is you can use the search bar to find the articles that you're looking for. So let me find an article here that I want to search for. So let's talk about this one to do list maker. If I go into the search bar and I click to do, and I search, Instapaper is gonna find all the articles that have the word to and the word do. Obviously this is not ideal. And what you can do is go into the advanced search and then you can input some more information. So for example, you might remember the website that it was on or even the author. 
Now, because I remember neither of those things, I'm just going to put to do list. And now it's going to search. And finally, the article that I'm looking for comes on top because this is sorting by relevance. If I know that it was an article that I saved very recently, I might want to sort by newest or the other way around. If I saved it a long time ago, maybe I want to sort it by oldest. And so by saving your articles to Instapaper instead of your bookmarks, I still have everything that I need at a moment's notice. I can search with an Instapaper and it kind of reduces that anxiety of having so much stuff on my backlog to read on my bookmarks. So instead, I just use the bookmarks for quick links that I'm going to need for projects that I'm working on. But for most of the articles that I want to read and basically things that I'm consuming, I'll just save them to Instapaper. And then it's very easy when I want to process a few notes to come back into Instapaper and just process the notes that I want or a specific set of notes if it's something that I'm going to need for a project or for something that I'm working on. Okay, so that is the process when you're using a computer. Now let's talk about this process on your phone. All right, so I open another article from my website about Elon Musk. What I can do is click the share button here and then all I need to do is scroll go into Instapaper and that article has been saved to Instapaper. So now if I open Instapaper on my phone, you'll see that this page has been saved to Instapaper, Elon Musk work ethic. And I can also take notes on it. So for example, let's just say focus on signal over noise. I can just simply select that part and click highlight. And that part has been highlighted. And then maybe I'm just gonna do this other quote here, also highlight and you'll see that I have two notes on it. And I actually can see that on the computer. If I refresh here, we go two notes on Elon Musk work ethic. So then like before, Readwise every day is gonna connect this into your Zettel casting in Rome. If you wanna do that process manually, it's what I've showed you before. I can go into Readwise, go into my articles. And for example, here is the one batching. And if I go here into import again, Instapaper, and I sync again manually, that new article from Elon Musk should appear on my Readwise on my mobile. So let's go into the articles and you'll see Elon Musk the one is here and I can actually see the two notes that I took on it on my mobile and then add some notes if I wanted for example if I click here I can edit this text or I can add a personal note saying for example what to focus on and then I click save and then I added my personal note on that note so if I go into readwise here on my computer and I go into browse articles I can do the same. Elon Musk, you'll see that my note is already here. And then if I export this, I'm going to do this manually again. That note will be added to the actual notes that I took on the article. So let's go that right now. So if I go here and I search for Elon Musk, you'll find it here. And if I click the drop down here, there'll be my note what to focus on. So that's the process of doing it on mobile and how you can add your personal notes on the smart notes that you're taking. So there you have it. That's my simple note taking system to make sure that I'm saving the best ideas from the content that I'm consuming in blog posts and articles. And then the final step of the entire note taking process is to create new original content. For the last couple of years, I published new articles on productivity and personal development weekly on my blog. If you want to see my easy peasy lemon squeezy system to outline a new article in Rome, all you have to do is click here to go watch that video. And you'll learn how I'm able to very quickly use the notes that I have on my Zettelkasten to create something new. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.